Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to go in great detail and talk about how you can actually set up your dropshipping account on Shopify in Hong Kong. And obviously there's a lot of strategies that you need to understand and that is exactly what we're going to explore today. The Shopify platform is a global commerce platform guys. You can build your business with Shopify to sell online, offline and everywhere in between. And that is one of the reasons why I absolutely love it because you have an opportunity to learn from so many people because there's millions of entrepreneurs on Shopify that have built their businesses and that gives a chance to look at the different strategies that they've implemented and the mistakes that they've done so we can actually learn from it. They're presented in 170 countries and a total US commerce of 10% is actually done on Shopify. There's a global economic activity of $444 billion. Now, one of the things that really makes it stand out is the fact that you can bring your vision to life with your simple drag and drop store creator there's no coding expertise that is required just the next book idea and you can select from customizable templates that are created by a community of world-class designers you can even add more features and functionalities to your online stores with the apps that are built by trusted shopify developers you can sell online in person and around the world with the marketing tools social integration sales channels you need to get your product in front of customers and obviously the best converting checkout on the planet you can back your business with shop pay the one click checkout that is built to convert and with a flexible point of sales you can power your retail store a point of sale system that allows customers to shop their way from online to the checkout line and obviously from the first touch to the full funnel you can find new shoppers with the seos the social media the content marketing the tools that help you reach customers where they are and build custom campaigns and set automations to serve every single segment and connect with customers on the go with integrated messaging tools and take control of your customers data to build custom audience and explore the customers insight that drive ongoing growth and obviously manage inventories track payments and view real-time business insights all in one place so you can focus on building your business and getting your products where they need to be with the integrated inventory management management that is streamlined by returns and a dedicated shipping and fulfillment network and you can manage your money where you make it if you don't have a shopify account guys don't worry click in the description below and get it now or just click on start the free trial and once you click start the free trial you'll be taken to the next page where you'll ask a couple of questions such as which of these best describes you are you just starting off or already selling online or in person we're going to go with the fact that we're just starting off after that the next question is going to be where where would you like to sell and you can pick as many as you like and you can always change them later guys so make sure that you're set up to sell in all these places it could be an online store an existing website or blog social media in person online marketplaces or you're not sure we're gonna go with an online store where we can create a fully customizable website after we select that we need to select a name now one of the things i always mention to individuals at this point is to make sure that they do their research and select a name that really reflects what kind of product they're selling but for this video we're going to use this as an example but i would highly recommend individuals to make sure that they go in great detail before they select the name and obviously after selecting the name you need to select where you would want to sell and if you're not in hong kong you can still sell in hong kong and how are you going to do that by simply selecting where your actual store is going to be based so if we actually surf up over here and we'll be able to find hong kong now once we select hong kong you'll see there's a pop-up that's going to come and say that you're not located in hong kong and you might face issues with tax and duty obligations payment issues shipping issues localization shopify benefits and terms of service and i'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to ensure that you can buy bypass all these problems but before we do that just hit next so you can set up your shopify account and the last step is going to be creating a shopify id you can continue with your email with your apple id with your facebook id or with your google id now i always tend to use my google id because using your gmail is so simple and straightforward this is what your dashboard looks like on the left hand side you're going to have your home your orders your products your customers analytics marketing and discount now in orders you can see the draft the abandoned checkouts in the products you can see your inventories your transfers your collections and your gift cards in the customers you will be able to import customers from anywhere across the globe where you have any customers available in any of the platforms that you're currently drop shipping in in analytics you can look at reports and live views and marketing can give you a complete breakdown of the campaigns and automations the online store gives you a complete breakdown of what your online store is going to look 
like from themes and blog posts, pages, navigation, and preferences. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see that you have a lot of themes available. Some are free and some are paid. Now, I always mention to everyone to make sure that they start off with as low cost as possible and select the themes which are completely free. And once your dropshipping account takes off and you still get some money in, you can always upgrade to getting more themes which are paid. Now, before you head over do anything, all you need to do is click on settings and make sure all the information that you put in is correct. Now, you can clearly see that our address is based in Hong Kong and that is what we want. So all this element is correct with a store currency is going to be in the Hong Kong dollars. So that is right as well. If you scroll down, you can change the time zone as well. So we're going to change the time zone to Hong Kong. So obviously, as we change it to Hong Kong, we can make sure that we are in a place that the information is going to be correct. So if you scroll down, you can select Hong Kong and click on save. Now, as you click on save, this information is going to get saved. Now, if you scroll up, you can go to the second bit that needs to be fixed, which is the billings. Now, the billings is quite important, guys, because you got to make sure that your billings done is in the right manner. Now, the billing is usually done in US dollars for the global use, because anyone that's coming from anywhere needs to have that element available. Now, obviously, all this element is correct. Then we head over to the taxing and duties. Now, this is crucial, guys, because you got to make sure that the information that you put is correct. So you need to include the taxes and prices. You need to include the charge tax on shipping and you need to charge VAT on the digital goods. Now, once you've selected all of that information, what you need to do is click on save so this information can be saved. Now, once you've saved it, scroll right up and click on markets because market is where you want to make sure that your current and primary market is going to be Hong Kong. As you can clearly see, this information is perfectly fine. To change anything, just click on manage and check out if the information inside the management is correct. The product and price is going to be the Hong Kong dollars. The duties and imports has been fixed, so there's no issue. And our actual domain and language is in English, as well as the fact that this is based in Hong Kong. If you want to change the language, just click on manage and you can change it to any language that you want. Whatever you feel feasible, you can select, guys. And that is how simple, straightforward, easy it is to set up everything on your account. And that is why I mentioned to individuals that want to set up their accounts to always first head to our channel and check out the videos that we've made for you guys because at the end of the day we want to make sure that you have the right information and you use the right information to scale your business if you want to get a full version of it all you need to do is pick a plan there's three plans that are available on shopify they have the basic plan they have the shopify plan and then they have the advanced plan the basic is for one dollar per month obviously the most popular one or you can get it for free for 90 days the shopify is for 69 dollars per month and the advanced is for 299 dollars per month you can save 10 percent in the first year if you pay yearly 20 percent in the second year if you pay yearly and you can save 25 percent if you pay yearly for three years it is as simple straightforward easy as that guys if you have any questions you can always ask me in the comment section down below and i'll be more than happy to help you support you guide you and to assist you if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon share this video with your friends and with your family on your facebook on your whatsapp on your instagram so more people can find out how simple and straightforward it is to sell in hong kong stay tuned for our next video until then take care